Hello students, welcome to my online biology classes that is biology with Sanjay Arji. Today we have reached an end of this chapter called as the living world and the topic name is taxonomical aids. The definition of taxonomical aid is very simple that these are the collection of samples or specimens which are helpful for the researchers to do their botany or zoological work. These will help in understanding the taxonomical hierarchy of variety of organisms. The topic is taxonomical aids and we have got some examples here we'll be studying about herbarium botanical gardens museums zoological parks and key with respect to this and we'll be studying some more extra simple simple definitions okay students let us go to herbarium first now in case of herbarium it is a very uh, basic laboratorical and botany related aspect wherein which you should have to collect or the scientist should have to collect a newer plant specimen it may be from any of the geographical area of this earth now it should be new it should be not at all discovered and it should be reached to the ICBN or some other communities ICBN it is nothing but international code for botanical nomenclature wherein which the plants identification nomenclature and classification will be done the particularity of this herbarium is nothing but taking that particular plant it should be dried and it should be pressed onto a sheet now we need to have a closer look about this sheet this sheet is called as herbarium sheet. It is having some dimensions as 29 centimeter in the length and 43 centimeter in width. Of this herbarium sheet, we need to paste, we need to press different parts of the plant. You can take the root or the shoot part, you can take the leaf, flowers, fruits, types of venation, estivation, etc, etc. You just have to press on it. And then along with these materials, you even have to add some basic informations also. Those basic informations should have to include the date of the collection, from which geographical place this particular specimen have taken, what should be its English, what should be its local and botanical names. These giving names should be called as the nomenclature and it should be done by ICBN. It should be categorized into one particular family. And then in the end, the person who collected it, the person who discovered it should be added also. Now these Taxonomical aids, as I mentioned, the names should be universally accepted and these specimens along with their descriptions should be added and it becomes a storehouse or repository for the future use. Now herbaria also serves as a quick referral system in the taxonomical studies. Dear students, as far as herbarium is concerned it is completely related to the topic called as the botany and in this the researchers relating to botany or the botanists can get a particular specialized information about different plants and their ideologies habitats description etc etc okay let us enter into the next category called as botanical gardens 
now botanical gardens also help in the taxonomy this is also called as the taxonomical aid this is also connected to the botany itself or the study of plants itself in case of herbaria the living plant specimens were not there but in case of botanical gardens these have the specialized gardens and collections of living plants for the references now these plant species in these gardens are grown for the identification purposes and each plant is labeled indicating its different purposes and botanical or scientific name and its family its family should be added and even its botanical and even scientific name should be added in our ncert they have given some basic examples which are called as the botanical garden that in some of the geographical area the famous botanical garden are at kew which is situated in england we even have indian botanical garden ibg in havra india and at national botanical research institute that is nbri which is situated in lucknow india now let us go to the next topic called as museum so students as far as the museum is concerned this is also another taxonomical aid it also helps in understanding researching getting the knowledge with respect to the botany zoology and some other aspects of science these are generally set up in the educational institutes such as colleges or the schools museums have the collection of preserved plant and animal specimens as i mentioned earlier sometimes these are even preserved in the containers or jars with respect to preservative solutions also plant and animal specimens may also be stored as dry specimens in some of the cases we can even store insects also insects are preserved in insect boxes first they should be collected they should be cured afterwards and they should be pinned and in some other places we can even see larger animals like birds and mammals and are usually stuffed and preserved museums often have a collection of skeletons of animals also okay students the next category is of zoological parks now this is also another taxonomical aid this also helps in research work related to zoologists for their taxonomical purposes understanding study description etc etc as far as zoological parks are concerned these are the places where wild animals are kept in captivity they are protected environments under the human care and which enables us to learn about their food habits and behavior in a zoo are provided as far as possible the conditions similar to their natural habitats children love visiting these parks commonly called as the zoos now the last one it is called as a key dear students key is another taxonomical use which is helpful for the research work and this is like a child's play all the contents of the key are completely depending upon the likes and dislikes or similarities and dissimilarities of the content that we are searching for it is completely based on the characteristics it is completely based on the contrasting characters generally in a pair called as couplet now this couplet represents the choice which has made between two opposite options the first option will be having our own characteristics and our own explanations and our own understandings the another characteristics does not holds good for our own explanations and our own searches so the one which favors our explanation holds good called as the acceptance 
and the one which does not holds good for our expectations it is called as the rejection so in case of couplet it is having two options the first option as the one which is accepted and the second option as the one which is being rejected now if you can accept it or if you can reject it if you accept it it is also called as a lead and if you reject it once again it is also called as a lead now these leads and the couplets are present in the key let me once again repeat it to you that keys are nothing but the basic taxonomical tools which are based on similarities and dissimilarities of our concern now separate taxonomic keys are required for each taxonomic category such as family genus and species for identification purposes keys are generally analytical in the nature you cannot practically you can see, you cannot see the plants or animals it just gives you a book which contains the information about plants and animals in it if you observe it if you get the successful similarities in it then you get the perfect accepted answer otherwise you reject it in the general way or in a generalized way you get the answer whatever that you were looking in the beginning so this is about the basic taxonomical ideas or aids or helps which are given in our ncert and last but not the least even there are some other sections this is about the hierarchy of biological classification it starts from the kingdom phylum class 2 species in each of the genus each of the phylum and each of the order we need separate keying books so that the depending upon the similarities we can enter into specific family depending upon the similarities we can enter into specific genus and depending upon the similarities and dissimilarities finally we can enter into species very easy right so the last section is that understanding some more uh, taxonomical aids such as flora manual and then monograph now if you have to study about the plants and that too those plants which are distributed in a specific area if you have to uh, look into different numbered plants and variety of plants of that specific geographical area then it is called as the flora and if you want to study the information for identification of names of species found in an area it is called as the manual that particular area might contain animal species might contain plant species including both these sections what is the general information regarding that area is called as the manual the third category is called as monograph which gives the information regarding only one taxon okay so once again let me repeat we have studied three words that is flora manual and monograph flora gives you the total number variety distribution of variety of plants which are present in that particular area manual gives you an idea of a different variety of species it may be animal it may be plant etc etc of that area the last one is monograph which gives you information regarding only about a taxon okay students i hope the understanding of the taxonomical aids is this much i hope you understood and we'll meet once again in my next class i'll definitely bring a newer chapter which tells us some more beautiful explanations of biology until that time keep studying god bless you all thank you very much